exciting news. Season three of Meet the Redmonds podcast launches June 2nd. Join us, Mark and Bev Redmond, every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. EST on Facebook, YouTube, and OCPI TV for inspiring conversations about faith, family, and marriage. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Bev. And it's Mark. And we are... The Redmonds. Welcome to another edition of Meet the Redmonds. We're sitting out here enjoying a little breeze relatively early in the morning in Chicago. Hopefully most people are on their way to work. And we are talking this or that, the church edition. We're getting our our old people vibe. So when we're sitting on our back porch in our rocking chairs, we have some kind of... <laughs> we're practicing? We're practicing. <laughs> but this is, this is good living. This is relaxing. This is what you live for. It is? Yeah, being with the person that you love. Yeah. Chilling. Relaxing. You think so? Yes. Okay. I'm not ready to go. Not re- I'm not ready for you to go. I have to get on um, a plane later on this evening. Yeah, and I We're start... Doing the commute thing. I start work next Monday. So we'll be commuting. But we've already got a plan. I think it's going to be a successful plan. And hopefully by 2025, we'll be back together again in Chicago for good. But whatever God's plan is, we're gonna we're gonna work we're this gonna thing work out. We're gonna work it out. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do what it, make it do what it does. So is. let's get back to today's episode. We are talking about this or that, and it's basically things that we compare to one another in church. Some of these you may have heard of. You may have even done some of these yourself. With your friends or your parents or whatever, mm-hmm. just fun, lighthearted, and your church preference. Your church preferences. So, That's right. if you got some church preferences that you want to put in the comments or email us, go right ahead. Okay, you ready to kick it off? Uh-huh. Uh huh. What is your preference for church candy? Church candy. Mm-hmm. There's always someone that's running around with a purse full, a pocket full of hard candies at church. And I don't know why they're so popular at church. I'm going to go with the peppermint flavored lifesavers, the white ones. Uh-huh. I'm going to put... The blue center? No, these don't have a okay, center at all. Center, okay. I'm going to go with either that or Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. Yeah. They are no use for life. Yeah, but they're they're inconspicuous. Is that did I use the right word? Okay. You can you can pop a bunch of Tic Tacs and people won't know. That, uh, maybe that's the reason for hard candy. They're small. You can you can't have food in church, but you can right. have a candy. So what your, is your choice? Your blood sugar goes low. What is um, uh, see that I need that. Diabetic. But if you've been in church a while and you're hungry because you didn't eat breakfast, that could be savory. Okay, so what what is your candy of choice for church? Uh, since you went mint, I'm going to give it ode to the butterscotch. Yeah. It's not a breath freshener. You yes, just yes. your preference on candy. Right. Are you talking about candy or breath mint? Your favorite church candy. Hard candy. Well, see, the purpose of eating the candy in church is because of, of you know you freshening your breath. Are you giving it oratory? No, but I'm just saying that's what you eat the candy for. What are you trying to freshen up for? So what are you bringing? Skittles now, ladies? What? <laughs> Jolly Rancher. Jolly Ranchers in church? They're small. No, 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 no. no. It serves no purpose. Mine at least freshen your breath it when you you closer to God. When you no, there? mine freshen your breath when you're talking to Sister So and So. Are you talking to Sister Sarah? Just in case. Are you talking to somebody? Well, anyway, I think... These are our preferences. I chose the classic butterscotch. He chose mint. Because of your breath. Mine's going to help me out. Mine's going to keep me alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All right, so that's the first one. Tita. <laughs> what is your candy of choice in church? Uh-huh. All right, and I gave you mine... And I gave you my reasons. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we both decided no gum. Yeah, gum. Because mm-hmm. you're smacking like a horse. Right. Right. 
Okay, number two. Breakfast at church or dinner at church? Now, and I got my theories on this. It's going to blow you out the water. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, rationale. Um, breakfast at church. You prefer breakfast? I prefer breakfast over any meal of the day, but breakfast at church. I prefer breakfast, but it comes with some stipulations. Okay. If you're having breakfast at church, make sure... And I'm, I'm not trying to talk to pastors and leaders and tell them how to run their church. But if you're going to have breakfast at church, have... You're deaconing. I'm deaconing now. Okay. Have a lot of time between the end of Sunday school uh -huh. and before morning service. Yes. Now you can't come in there <laughs> asking for an omelet two minutes before church starts. An omelet? <laughs> hey, this is new church. You can get omelets now. Okay, now also, if you're going to do breakfast, you're going to have to stick with the classics. Scrambled eggs, uh -huh. bacon or sausage, uh -huh. a biscuit or toast, uh -huh. and grits. Church grits are the best. Church grits are awesome. And the reason I say church breakfast, usually everybody has a specialty. If you're good on the meats, that's your deal. You know how to get the bacon crisp, Sister Bacon. Is on the now, you also got to make sure these people eat and go up to the sanctuary. So you got to have some deacons in place that can, you know, corral the people and say, all right, it's time to go. And you have to have some resistors in there for the socialization to keep keep things alive. Because they'll sit back there and... Have their fifth cup of coffee. And service has started already. Fifth cup of coffee, let me just say. Okay. Yep. Now, you, we both agree dinner... After church, I think it's problematic. Why? Huh? Why did we agree to that? What? The dinner after church is a no-no? Uh -huh. First of all, somebody's going to run out of food. Some people are going to leave out the sanctuary Some and start... Are not going to stay. And start, and start jockeying for po po uh, position in line. <laughs> well, it's because everybody's hungry. And you can smell the food cooking. Same thing with breakfast. They're both deterrents. Now, if you had to go dinner, would it be a chicken dinner or fish? Catfish? I don't know. It's got to be... Now, are you asking me for... Am I paying for the dinner? Is there a donation? Because I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm paying $10 and I get a drumstick and a wing and a scoop of macaroni and cheese, uh-uh. I'd rather go to Popeye's or churches and, and buy an eight-piece. Supporting the I will give a donation. I'm not. You're not gonna give me one drumstick and one wing. Okay. What's your ideal plate if it's gonna be a dinner? <sighs> then I'm gonna go back to breakfast and things you shouldn't cook, like salmon croquettes. Because it's gonna fuck up, up the whole, the whole church. Sanctuary. Nah, I mean, and chicken, I love a salmon croquette. Chicken is fine. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, something friable, if that's a word, because. <laughs> You know, with, if you're talking pork chops and gravy, you know, it takes a real good gravy connoisseur to make a good gravy. Such as yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on the gravy skills. So. All right, Mr. Gravy. So we both agree, mm -hmm. church breakfast. Church breakfast is ideal. It's a good start to the day, and it's a good way to get people into Sunday school. And why don't you try teaching Sunday school while they eat the breakfast? I never thought of that. That might be an idea that, that might be... Fame, here we come. Right. Uh huh. But you know, I, my dad and I, my dad had a thing. He walked to Sunday school because our church was right around the corner. Anybody that came mm -hmm. after Sunday school, he get his coffee and something to eat. I get something to eat. Mm -hmm. We walk home. We back home before kickoff. And I am going to give a small warning. Stop buying the donuts. There are diabetics everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. So number two was church breakfast or church dinner, and we both agreed. Church breakfast. Church breakfast wins. No, ding, ding, ding. no salmon croquettes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So along the Sunday school line, would you prefer Sunday school or would you prefer Bible study? Traditional Sunday school. 
Mm -hmm. or Bible or study. Bible study. And you know, some places Bible study has taken the place of Sunday school. Sunday school is becoming an artifact. Yep. Okay. Or they have Sunday school on Saturday. Which means it's Saturday school, mm. not Sunday school. I don't know. I, I'm kind of leaning. See, we grew up on Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So you grew up Missionary Baptist. Mm -hmm. I grew up Kojic. So we did um, Young People Willing Workers or YPWW. We had Bible Band. I think they were all the same lessons with the um, Sunday school book. I'm going to say, so what you choose, a Sunday school? Just for the nostalgia. Uh, you know what, I'm going for Sunday school too, like you said, part nostalgia, part that's where I met all my buddies at, and there's nothing wrong with Bible study, and Bible oh, study does give you that essential. break in the week, mm -hmm. you know, because usually it's on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. but I'm going to go... Go with old you, school, Sunday, Sunday school. school. Now, is your Sunday school, do you prefer it before church or after church? Oh, no way, before. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> no. Perish the thought. Right, I've already been at, at morning service, now you going to hit me with Sunday school? Mm -mm. You better get that out the way. <laughs> so, early, early bird gets the worm. Yeah. All right, early mark what? Okay, what's another one? Um, We've done three so far. <laughs> time of service. Are you early morning service, like where we are in Seattle? That's the 9 o'clock, or pre-9 o'clock service. Are you midday, 11.30 noon? Are you one of the late birds? Well, I think we may have already answered that question. The 2 and the 3 o'clockers. Absolutely not. The all of them? No, I mean... <laughs> Morning service, yes. Maybe on Communion Sunday, you know, 11 o'clock service. Mm -hmm. Afternoon service, it depends if pastor's going away to preach something. It's somewhere I may decide to go with him. Or, I mean, we've done that. Visiting church. Yeah, I, I, I would do that. Now, but, here's what I don't do. Mm -hmm. If I'm visiting, I'm not at the other services I'm going to that service. I can concur. Yes. If I'm going with pastor or our pastors, we have Unless two. Unless we have something to do. We, we have, have one in Chicago and we have one in Seattle. So if pastor is going somewhere to preach, mm -hmm. I'm not, you're right, I may not go to morning service, I'll go with him afternoon service for support. Yes. And I don't stay over usually for all three services if i've been in churches where you have the span i pick one and now if i'm chit-chatting it up and we happen to stay over or there's a special program that's something different but just to stay for all three services and i have no purpose i'm not on praise team i'm not doing any other service mm -hmm. nine o'clock no later than the 11 30. okay all right what else you got what's the next one you gonna leave it on me? Uh, pressure. Okay. Uh, choirs. Well, we talked about this, what, season one? Yes, but we didn't put it in this right. kind of context. Choirs or praise teams? We're in Chicago. I'm from Gary, which is not far from here, but I. I grew up on choir. We marched in. It took forever. We sang the Lord's Prayer. We marched in. We did all of those things. But uh, that three-part harmony, nothing like it. A good rehearsed choir, small or large, does not matter. That's going to be my preference. I do love praise team. That feels a little more personal for me, a little more, um, all of it's worship, but a little more intimate. To me, but my preference is to hear a good choir. Give me some hymns too. Give me some hymns somewhere in between choir and praise team. <laughs> Deacon hymn. Give me, give me some hymns. I'm old school. Okay. I'm old school. So we're agreed on choirs. And if you want to see the whole episodes, or I think there are two episodes on praise we did team, a whole praise, thing of praise, praise team versus choirs. Versus choirs. Uh, shout out to our Facebook page or to our YouTube channel. You can find those 
one of them went semi-viral. I think it was over 21,000. Right. Just go to Meet the mm -hmm. Redmonds YouTube and... Meet the Redmonds Facebook. Scroll, what was it, season one? Yeah. Yeah, so it's... We're in season three now. So, so yeah, you can mm -hmm. go check us out. Praise Team versus Choirs. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know if you're like this or not, but within the music realm, would you prefer after church program or a midnight kind of musical? Are you talking about a concert type thing versus mm -hmm. what? Versus you do a maybe a two or three o'clock program. I don't know. See, even concerts are going the way of the dinosaur. You know, they just don't do them anymore. Not in Seattle. We, we pop up a concert in a minute. We bring in artists. So Seattle is still in the phase where they go to afternoon services. You know, three, Which four o'clock. Cool. It's cool. I like it. Mm. So you like choirs. So which which would you prefer? I don't want to. I, I could do without the concert. No concert? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can do without it. Here's my real pet peeve about concerts. Church parking. I always end up in the gravel lot in the dark. Why in the dark? Ask them. Why don't you have the lights in your parking lot? All the way to the back. Pay for parking lots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What else? Check out some um. Oh boy, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <sighs> older deacons or older motherboard members? <laughs> Deacon board or mothers? Mother oh, no, no, no. Uh, older deacons or the motherboard circle? Deacon. Which one would rankle your nerves the most? <laughs> I'm sorry to all my older deacons and my older mother oh, date, my mother gosh. board members. Mother's board. First of all, all of those things are kind of passe. Traditional deacons, uh, the traditional mother's circle, mother's board, uh, they're all, heck, we're almost the age where they're going to start calling us mother. And mm -hmm. I, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm well, at, at, at our church growing up, uh -huh. we had what was called the Golden Ages. And the Golden Ages were, was anybody over 65? The Golden Ages? Yeah. Like the flying group? No, it, I didn't say the the... the the, the, what, the eagles or whatever. The no, angels? no. The blue angels? It was, okay. I, was, I didn't say the blue angels. I said the golden angels. They were, and my mother was like their advisor. They had advisor. They, were, they were older. Okay. So it was really for people 65 and older. Uh -huh. And it was, it was, the purpose was to just help them navigate through the church and, you know, have special programs and things for the senior citizens. That seems so imminent. What do you mean? Like it's around the corner. Yeah, because. I could be with my satin jacket, Golden Agers. <laughs> I ain't gonna laugh because if they still had the Golden Agers, we'd be knocking on the door pretty <laughs> soon. <laughs> we'd be getting our membership packet together. Right. Uh, they're already courting us for AARP. And um, here's the thing with the Golden Agers it was. I hate, I hate to use the, the word mandatory, but it was automatic. So you couldn't say, nah, I'm, I don't want to join. I'm, you had to opt out? Huh? You couldn't opt out? No. So if you hit 65, I don't care if you look stunning you got and you. ran marathons. They're going to put you in the golden ages. You got your the jacket, satin jackets. They didn't wear satin jackets, but you know, we the, will. the big hats and everything, you wore golden ages. I want you to get a throwback jersey. That's how we're going to do it. Right. So Throwback jerseys. It was, it was automatic. You were part of the Golden Age. Starter jackets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The question was, a mother's board. You see what I got to deal with? <laughs> and she's leaving today, so she's getting all her 
her, her, my yuckety yucks. her giggles oh, out. My giggles. Uh, it's going to be serious, Bev, after I get on the plane. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, who would rankle my nerves the most? Mother's board tends to rankle my nerves the most. But re I'm kind of chill about them both. But if there was rankling of nerves, uh, it would be the mother's board because they're so picky. I don't know. I, uh, old deacons can be crotchety. They really can't. I never forget, this was maybe 10 years ago. Uh -huh. So I'm mid 40s. And, you know, sometimes you hang out in the vestibule or whatever before you go into church or whatever. This deacon came, and I ain't going to say no names because he's gone yes. on the glory. Yeah. This deacon was like, all right, y'all, let's get ready to go in church. I was like, okay. And I guess we didn't move, we didn't move fast enough. He was like, "Either y'all going to church right now? I'm gonna tell pastor." This was ten years ago. Yeah, it was about ten years ago. Well, I can see how it's affected you. You're right. Still frowning up about it. And I think I said, "You can go tell pastor if you want to." This is the not gospel response. I, I know. I was still a little reckless. And I was like, "My daddy." It's gone on to glory. You're not going to just tell me. You're just resistant about going into church? I was doing something. I, I mean, I was going, but he came. Intellectual conversation? He came at me kind of re reckless. What would you do if one of the mother's board members told you, all right, sister, let's get in church? Laugh? You? Yeah. Because <laughs> they're funny to me. Would you move right the, away? The golden agers. Are, would you move right away? I probably would. Okay, sis. We're coming. Give me one second. We'll be right there. Love you. Nah, he didn't come at me like that. He came with me with anger in his voice. All right. How are we doing on time? We got some time left. We got some time. All right. So, favorite church dessert when we do stay. Well, back in the day, it used to be pound cake. Pound cake, what I think it held up well. That's why it was pound cake, and then people did some variations like Seven Up cake or whatever. But that has been replaced by red velvet. I do believe. What's wrong? What do you mean? Why do people like red velvet so much? It depends if if, if who. If it's chocolate cake. You die. Yeah, it depends on who's doing it. You like it? Yeah. It's like it depends on who's doing pound cake. Now, I've had some pound cake that was dry. You would bust a window with it door stops. Right. So, yeah, yeah it's, it, it depends. I'm on the pie end. Peach cobbler? That ain't a pie. It's cobbler. It's not, a cobbler is not a pie. It's pie-esque. But it's not a pie. Alright, cherry pie. Sweet potato. I'm not a big fan of sweet potato pie. Pecan. Yeah, you do the best pecan pie. I do. You keep it simple. Okay, we got a you couple. Need your Cairo syrup. Yes. Is it pecan or pecan? Doesn't matter. It's just good. Alga syrup. Alga. Oh. Is it alga? Yes. When I was little, I thought it was algae. <laughs> now, give me some of that algae you syrup. Take the algae syrup. Yeah. Ew. It's super thick. So is Cairo. But it go good with some pancakes. <laughs> Diabetics. Okay, mm -hmm. a couple more and then we got to wrap it up because we got to get going with the day. Yeah. Um, communion. Oh. The uh -huh. prepackaged communion with the wafer and the wine mm -hmm. or the old school communion in the, the steel... Plates. Okay. With the little glasses. Yes, with the little cross at the top on the, <laughs> the lid. I, I forgot about the cross on the lid. Yes. And they hold it up. Like symbols. Right. Okay, yeah. No, no, they hold up the, 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 sheet. the sheet. Yes. So all you sinners out there couldn't see. It's a ceremony. <laughs> but uh -huh. what about that in the old school communion bread that you, you know, you had to crunch up, uh -huh. the pastor crunched up? And they pass it around. I was always that kid that wanted that big piece. Why are you trying to 
trying to have a meal. Hey man, communion. it was a matter of it was a matter of pride. You you everybody wanted that big, big piece. Square. Yeah, it's just touching everything. Well, since post COVID, uh, <laughs> everything is handled differently, gloved, mm -hmm. and someone is giving you a piece. You're not pawning. Now, aside. I had a communion experience recently. I think it, they didn't have unleavened bread. It was like Hawaiian bread. It was like, what? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> it was Hawaiian bread? It tasted like it was from a bakery. And they just tore pieces off? Yes. So like, I don't think this is a loaf of bread. I think it's symbolic, I understand. Did you laugh? <laughs> I did chuckle. I mean, this is bread. Somebody stopped at the bakery and got some hot luck <laughs> on the way over. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, my preference is for a traditional communion. Okay. Not the prepackaged stuff. Because I've seen it? I've seen some of the older members and even myself to get the little the the first thing off, the first layer off. <laughs> Why is it double layer? <laughs> I don't know. I just, a little wafer at the top, yeah. I just seen some older members mm. that were not really <laughs> steady with their grip. And I've seen some younger members who are not steady. Uh, if you wear fake fingernails, it's very hard to get a grip on those. And I'm not really sure how often they turn over the stash. <laughs> you want to know the expiration date? I do need to <laughs> I've had some wafers that just disintegrated. I was like, ah. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> oh, We shouldn't be laughing so loud. We go, we go, our neighbors next door. <laughs> They've never really watched us film. But we, we, we have a, <laughs> well, a good time. Our neighbor. She has heard me teach class out here on the oh, porch. Yes. And she's come out later. You were way too loud. Stop yelling at those kids. <laughs> Sorry, Fairy. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get ready and get up out of here. Did we do them all? I think we did. Do we have any more? <laughs> Besides communion. Ooh. What? Revival? We don't have those anymore. Yeah, we do. We do? Yeah. A week versus three days. Tent revival. No. <laughs> I'm not doing it outside. A week versus three days. Uh, three. 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 After about the third day, I'm like, hey, man, you said the same stuff Monday. Now, I'm all for guests, mm -hmm. different speakers mm -hmm. each night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's feasible. Um, what I like here... We did Wednesdays in the Word. Mm -hmm. Is it November that mm -hmm. we would do it? And we would have guest churches come on Wednesdays. And that was kind of like our revival season heading into Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I enjoyed this or that. I did. I did. Funny. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Hawaiian bread. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh. sweet. Okay. Well, we're going to get out of here. Next time you see us, we may be doing Zoom again. Because you'll be back in Seattle, and I'll be yeah, here. Seattle. But yeah. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you, too. It'll be three weeks before I see you again. Mm -hmm. And we're still together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here. It's not my wife's way. <laughs> I do think it is, but it's not my husband's way. It's the, the Redmond way. way. Go to church. And find out your own this and that. Yes. <laughs> Peace. Bye. Exciting news. Season 3 of Meet the Redmonds podcast launches June 2nd. Join us, Mark and Bev Redmond, every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. EST on Facebook, YouTube, and OCPI TV for inspiring conversations about faith, family, and marriage.